Today we're going to learn how to import new fonts into our website, and this ties together with the previous episode where we learned how to style text using CSS. So as you guys can see in front of me here, we have a very basic paragraph that has a class set to paragraph, and inside my style sheet I went ahead and styled it by giving it a font size and a line height. So if you take a look at the text inside the browser, this is how it looks like. So in the last episode, we learned how to add a new font to the text. And we did that by going into our code and included font-family to some of the styling. And we could, for example, give it Arial, which is a font that we have installed inside all browsers, meaning that we can use this font without having to import it inside our website. So if we go back inside the website, refresh, you guys can see we have a new font. Now, in most cases, we want to give our website a bit more personality. We want it to stand out just a bit more by giving it some kind of unique font. And when it comes to importing new fonts, we have two methods we can use. The first one is that we could download a font somewhere online and then include the font file inside our root folder and then link to the file using our style sheet. Now, doing it this way means that you can see the font inside the website without having internet connection. So if you're sitting on a train or somewhere where you don't have internet, you can still use the font inside your website. Now, the bad thing about doing it this way is that it takes slightly longer for the website to load the font. I mean, it's not really going to be noticeable, but it will technically take just slightly longer to load the font. But like I said, it's not really something that you can see. Now, the second method we can use is that we can actually link to a font somewhere online in inside an online library where we have a bunch of fonts available to us. And doing it this way is not going to allow for you to see the font if you do not have internet connections since we're linking to a font online somewhere. But it is faster to load inside the website and it's also faster for us as developers to just include a font by adding a link. So what I'm going to go and do today is I'm going to go and show you guys both ways we can import the font inside the website. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the second method because it is the faster way to do it. So in case you guys don't want to wait for the faster method at the end, I'm going to go ahead and start with that one. Now, I should also mention that when I usually use fonts inside a website, I usually just include a link. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is that I do actually have a link for a website that shows all the different fonts that you don't have to actually import inside your website in order, in order for you to use them. So just in case you're interested, I will leave a link in the description so you can see a list of these fonts. Now, in order to import a font, I'm going to go ahead and use Google Fonts, which is a website by Google that has a library full of fonts that you can use for free inside your website, or you can just download the fonts and use them on your computer if you wish to. But the main point here is that we're going to go and use this website for importing fonts into the website. So as you guys can see inside Google Fonts, we do have a search field in the right corner where if I want to search for a font, let's say I want to get Lato, I can search for it. And then you can see we have Lato over here on the left side. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete the search term here. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose a font that I would like to use, for example, here. So we'll just scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and use the one called Modak because it looks kind of special. What I can do if I want to use this font is I can click the plus icon. Then at the bottom here, I can then see the font that I just selected. And inside of here, we have a link that I can just include inside my code. So I can go ahead and just copy the link, go inside my text editor, go inside my index page, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it on top of my style sheet. And it's very important that you paste it in on top of the style sheet and not below it because you need to load the font before you can use it inside the style sheet. And because the dark more inside of get read from top to bottom, we need to have the font link at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in, save it. And now I'm going to go inside my style sheet, I'm going to go back inside the website. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy the second piece of code down here below, which is the font family that we need to use in order to actually access the font. So I'm going to copy it, go inside my style sheet and replace our existing font family with the new one. So if we go inside my website, refresh, you guys can see we now have a new font. Now, one more thing I want to show you regarding this is that we can, in fact, if we were to go back inside Google Fonts and choose a different font that has more than just one font weight available to them. So if we were to choose the font down here called Playfair Display, you guys can see the more weights available to us inside this font. We have bold, we have black, and we have italic fonts. So if I were to select this one instead, by clicking the plus icon, go down to the bottom here and see the selected fonts, I'm going to go ahead and deselect the previous one called Modak because we don't need to have it anymore. And then before we cover the link code down here, I'm going to go ahead and go inside Customize. And inside Customize, you can see we can actually select the different weights we want to have inside the website. So I could say we have regular 400, which is the default one. I can select bold 700, bold 700 italic if I want it. And then I can go back inside Embed 
and you'll actually notice that the link actually changed. So I can then copy it, paste it inside my index page underneath the first one we chose because now we have two different fonts inside the website, but still on top of the style sheet, of course. And then I can go inside my style sheet. Then if I go down here, select a new font family, copy it, paste it in. We now have this new font available to us. So if we were to refresh the browser, you guys can see we have the new font. So if I want to choose a different font weight, I can go down to the bottom here and add a font dash weight. And because we imported, let's see, the one called 400, 700, and 700i, I can use these fonts inside my style sheet. So if we were to go back in here, we can say 700 as a weight, refresh the browser, and you guys can see we have a heavier weight. Now, if I want to make the font italic, I do need to go down below and say font dash style and say italic. And then if I go back inside the website, you guys can see that it is now italic. So this is the first way we can import a font inside our website. Now the second method requires us to actually download a font. So if we were to go back inside my code and just redo what I did here to make sure we don't have all this code, delete the two links like so, refresh the website so we have a clean website. I can now go back inside Google Fonts and then say, well, let's actually go ahead and choose a more unique font like the one we have up here called Nocifer. If I select this one, go down to the bottom here and then deselect the Playfair display, which we chose before. I can now click download up here in the top right corner instead of copying the link. So I'm going to choose download and you guys will notice that I just downloaded the font. So if I go inside my downloads folder, you guys can see we have a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and right click and extract it. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy the font. Now inside my root folder, I could just paste it inside just the main directory here but because I want to organize my root folder just slightly, I'm going to create a new folder, call it fonts, and insert the font inside this folder here. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy the name of the font because we will need to use it in just a second. And now I'm going to go back inside my code. So when it comes to this method here, we don't need to do anything inside the index file. So if I go back inside my style sheet, go to the top of the style sheet, we need to actually link to the font. And we do that using something called at font dash face, curly brackets, and then inside the curly brackets, we need to include two things. First of all, we're going to include the link to the actual font inside our root folder. And the second thing we need to include is the name that we want to refer to when we want to refer to this font. So first of all, let's go ahead and link to the font by writing source, URL, parentheses, semicolon, and inside the parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and include the link. So I'm going to say we have a folder called fonts, forward slash by saying we go inside the folder and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in the name of my font. Then below here, I need to include the name that I want to refer to when I want to select this font. So I'm going to say we have a font dash family and I'm going to go ahead and set this one to Nosifer. Or if you want to, you could just say Nos for short, semicolon. And then I'm going to go down inside my paragraph down here. I'm going to go ahead and write font dash family going to say NOS semicolon. I'm going to go inside my website and now you guys can see we imported the font and used it inside our paragraph here. So these are the two methods we can use in order to import a font inside our website. And before we end off this episode, there's one more thing I want to show you guys because there is actually a second website you can go to if you want to download fonts for free. And again, there's a lot of websites you can go to, but this is the one that I usually use. And as you guys can see, it's actually on the maintenance right now as I'm making this video, but if you go to the website, when you're watching this video, it should hopefully not be under maintenance anymore. But again, this is a great place to get fonts. And, you, and what you can do in here if you want to, because all the fonts are free, is that you can donate to the people who made the fonts. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.